Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is a super fun Patreon showcase and a plan with me. Let's go. So if you're new here, Every month I have one video where I show you pictures of some of my patrons spreads that they post on Instagram. I hope it gives you some good inspiration. At the end of the video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me inspired by one of these spreads. So let's go. We are starting off with a super cute Halloween spread by the planning pastor. She actually created these stickers herself on Canva, which is so cool. I actually never thought to create stickers there. What a cool idea. Anyway, look at these. My favorite part of this, you guys have to know which one's my favorite, right? The cows, moo. Oh my gosh. We've got ghosts, boo, and then the cows, moo. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I adore this October landing page, currently page, whatever, by planner be spelled. First of all, the design is so cute with the tree in the middle and little circle box stickers and stuff, but it's super functional. All of those habit trackers, I just love this so much. The Bumble patron challenge this month was Pumpkin Madness and Megan, plan with Maisie, she brought it. She brought all those pumpkins. I told them to go pumpkin crazy this month. I love this, Megan. I love the amount of pumpkins. Like you really just took the challenge and was like, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it and bring in a giant amount of pumpkins into my spread. Yeah. Oh my gourd. Bring on the peach. Bring it on. I love this spread by God's Girl Plans. I love the cute little scene on the right corner with that little cat whose name is Max. It just came to me. It might be a girl or a boy. That's kind of a unisex name, right? Anyway, super cute spread. I love Halloween spreads. There's going to be a lot of Halloween spreads in this video, by the way. A nightmare before Christmas scene, you say? Why, yes. This one is absolutely freaking cute. I'm here for it. The characters are doing their thing in the bottom of Stephanie's planner, and I just think this one's so fun. It's nicely laid out. I love the big haunted house on the right side and the ripped paper on the bottom. Mwah, love it. There's something about a blue and orange color combo that is so appealing to me. So I really love this spread with those whimsical pumpkins, all the blue and orange, and those fun quotes. I really love that new funky abstract sticker book, but I will say I've used it before and it's hard to use. It's hard to know what to do with it. Girl got plans though. She knows what to do with it. Look at this fun like middle part. It's going up the page diagonally and it's just big like splotchy things. I don't know, just shapes, you know, abstracts. Yeah, I really like it. These stickers are from the Wrong Wrong Halloween book. I remember because I always thought that that was a melting hat there, but it's actually a dress. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing when I did the flip through, just saying, but super cute spread. I love the purples and blacks together. It's so moody and just a really nice spread for the week before Halloween. I can always count on Marisol from my little planning corner to get stickery. She's always so stickery and I love it. But this one is really, really cute. I think this was a Planners Anonymous kit, if I'm not mistaken. But the colors, the pastel colors are really pretty for Halloween. I also love a filled out spread and Marisol spreads are always so good, her after the pens. So um, yeah, give her a follow. She's awesome. Look at Erica bringing in the villains this month. I mean, what better time than Halloween to bring in villains in your planner? <laughs> and Ursula is taking center stage here, obviously. I love it paired with those florals. It's such a good match. Good job, Erica. Toning it down a little with band 63, fun, neutral, pumpkin-y spread. It's spooky season. I really like these pumpkin stickers in the middle. It has a more neutral feel. It's almost a really moody vibe. And that's perfect for the week before Halloween. I always love it when I see breast cancer awareness spreads. It is such an important 
thing to get out there. And I really like this one. It's like, there's no question what it is, you know. What's cool about the ribbon is Colleen found a whole bunch of pink flowers and cut them to fit inside that big ribbon, which she, I guess, is that washi tape or pen? I'm not sure from this picture. But I also love a really good pink spread. So this one's really cute, Colleen. Squad girls come in at you. Chantel, you did a great job with this. I love the grid washi that they're standing on. My favorite squad girl sticker is that one up in the, the left-hand corner there where they're throwing the leaves. They're playing in the leaves and that looks so fun. The dog's playing in the leaves on the left side too. His name is, um, what's the first thing? Brian? Oh man, his name's Brian. He's playing in the leaves, but really cute. I love the circles in this one. It's like very balanced, but not super symmetrical, but I love that. I love the differences on each side, the up and down thing. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know how to explain it. So good job, Chantel. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I'm not going to sing it, okay? I can't sing on YouTube, but I love Nightmare Before Christmas stickers. And Alex from A Plus Plans made such a cute spread here. Listen, the horizontal is extremely hard for me to decorate. I don't know about you, but she nailed it with this Nightmare Before Christmas theme. And she brought in the orange pumpkins. The color combo is really cool because we have the teal and the orange, which are balancing each other out, right? And then this little pop of lavender, like the light purple is so pretty in this. I'm going to have to get tips from Alex for decorating the horizontal, just saying. Okay, the My Bee Project is a very busy person. She's so busy. What a great way to get everything organized. Just put everything on a piece of filler paper, do a little brain dump with really cute Nightmare Before Christmas stickers, and you have your cute little Halloween checklist. Love this. Here's another breast cancer awareness spread by This Nurse Plans. I love how she combined it with fall pumpkin stickers to make like a fall breast cancer awareness spread. I think it's so cute. I love the plaid washi tape up there and the long box stickers on each day. We're switching it up. I just wanted to switch it up because I picked so many pumpkin and fall spreads and M. Fackenthal made such a cute beachy spread. I love this. I guess it's scrapbook paper on the bottom. Again, the horizontal is difficult and I don't usually see scrapbook paper brought in on the bottom. It's kind of cool how some of it is the white and then we have the boxes on top for functionality on those days, you know? Oh my gosh, I think it's really cute. Those seahorses are adorable. I'm gonna title this spread. I'm gonna call it a plethora of plaid pumpkins. Yeah, alliteration at its finest, right? I love this spread by doing plans. It's super fun. There's a lot of pumpkins on this page. And what's going on? She says Hot Mess Express on Monday. Yeah, me too. Me too. Isn't this a little cutie pumpkin Disney spread by Sparkle Plans? I don't know where she got those ghosts and the pumpkins, but they're adorable. I need to find them. And the addition of Mickey Mouse in here is really, really fun. I love adding Mickey Mouse into spreads that have a different theme. Like just throw Mickey in and make it like he's experiencing something in your planner. I think that's really fun, but so well balanced. The spread is so well balanced. Kristen Creates created, you see what it did there? A really cute but spooky, not necessarily cute, actually kind of creepy Halloween spread with the red and the black. I really like it. I love the washi tape frames on each side. I think these are Planet Darby stickers maybe, but I love the little stitching. Um, it's so fun. Yeah, I like this one. And also really good props and photo styling there, Kristen. Wabam, cyanotype. <laughs> I really like this. It's so cute. You know, there's so many things you can do with those quote stickers, the little strips. I love this idea. I've never done that before. That's really creative. Plan, create, decorate, because you're creative, because you create. But yeah, I really like this spread. Ooh, I always forget to do purple and green combos because the purple and green combo is so pretty. I'm not a purple person, <laughs> purple person, no one is, but I mean, I don't like, that's not one of my favorite colors. However, 
paired with green. It is beautiful. And you guys know I love the All the Feels sticker book. I can't get enough of that sticker book. So Paige, you did a really good job here. Bright and Cheery Fall Spread by Jen Hunt 214. It's a non-traditional color palette with the addition of the bright pink and all the bright colors, but that's fun sometimes to do in the fall. And I really like those stickers from Live Love Posh. Did you guys know that Colleen Hoover is one of my favorite, favorite authors? I love her books. I've read almost every Colleen Hoover book that there is. So this page was exciting for me to see. Um, the Crafter Mom made a little page about the book November 9th, which I actually really like that book too. I don't know if this is a reading planner for her or what. I really like this idea of creating a page about a favorite book or a book you read. So um, maybe that's in my future. So those were some really awesome spreads. My Patreon members are really talented. I hope you enjoyed checking them out and you can go follow them on Instagram if it's something you're interested and check me out on there as well. But today I'm going to be doing a spread for November 7th through the 13th. This is a big happy planner spread and this one is inspired by Kristen Creates. So what inspired me about Kristen's spread is the black outlines with the washi tape on the boxes because I haven't done that in so long and I thought maybe it was time to do that. And for me, the vibe has to match that. So I'm gonna be using the 90s sticker book. I don't know, it felt right with the black outline. It's gonna be kind of bold and fun and it's not real fall-like, but I don't do fall spreads every single week in the fall. So this is gonna be really fun. And I haven't used this in a full spread yet for myself, so let's try it out. I have three washi tapes here, and I'm thinking these are what they look like. They're all Happy Planner. The foil in here is silver. So let me see if I have a silver one, hold on. Okay, I did find one that's silver, but it's silver hearts. I don't know, what do you think? You can't answer me, so let's just do it. It's a little bit flashy, but this is like a flashy sticker book, so I think we're gonna be good. So yeah, I used to do this a lot more, and I sort of got out of it. I didn't, you know, every once in a while I would do this frame kind of thing, but it's fun to do. And like I said, I think the 90 sticker book really is going to kind of flow with that look. Let me get my exacto. I don't know where anything is still in this place. I am struggling because not everything is organized yet. Okay, here it is. So what we're gonna do here is just take each section, like each line around the outside and cut it exactly to that line. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up because this is probably gonna get a little bit boring if you just sit here and watch me do this the whole time. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, one little tip I will give you about doing this is you don't wanna pull the washi tape too tight because if you pull it too tight, first of all, it's gonna warp a little bit and you can see some of it's not perfectly straight, that's okay. But the other thing is if you stretch it, then it's gonna eventually pop off the page and shrink and it won't be long enough to meet the other tape, if that makes sense. So try not to stretch it too far, be gentle and also like maybe take one section at a time instead of pulling it all the way across. I noticed it was more accurate when I just did a little at a time. So again, not perfect, but let's go with it. I think it's really cute so far and it's gonna just match this vibe. I think it is, I don't know. <laughs> this is a fun sticker book, but it's very, very specific. And so, yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to decorate with. So I hope this gives you some ideas for it. Now, what I thought I would do since this is already framed, what I thought I'd do is go around the edges with some little decoration before I put boxes in the middle. I know I'm not copying, not copying, but I know I'm not like doing Kristen's spread, you know, being, what am I trying to say? I'm not, I was inspired by her spread because of this and I think her spread's adorable, but my spreads can be very different. 
So you will see what I mean. I like these doohickeys. We're gonna call all of these doohickeys, thingamabobs, whatchamacallits, and whoosie watsits, and all of these things, because I don't know what they're called. Obviously, no one knows what these are called. This one looks like it should go in a corner. Yeah, let's put it down here. And just so you know, these are BAMs, these ones, and that's crooked. But I mean, it can be crooked because they're weird, but still, I don't want it to be too crooked. Yes, I named those things BAMs because I don't know. They look like BAMs. Now, can you hear my heater go off? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you hear my heater because, oh my gosh, it's so loud here. It's so loud. And there's no door on this new office, so that's a little bit of an issue, but we're going to just roll with it, you guys. I don't know what else to do except to roll with it. We'll be okay. We'll figure out all of this stuff. Okay, let's put this one in the corner. Yeah. All right. I don't know what these are called. Maybe lightning bolts. I'm not sure. Let's take this guy. I'll put it I don't know. I kind of want to space them out good, so I'm not going to put it in the corner. We could do it this way. Ooh. Or this way. Turn it upside down. Let's do it like that. Okay. This is just going to be a really fun sort of spread with... Uh, I, I know it says 90s. I feel like it's also 80s, you know, an 80s vibe with the Rubik's Cube and all of that. So it's going to be fun. So we need more lightning bolts and bams and doohickeys and thingamabobs but yeah like these right and also some quotes i thought would be fun to put around the edges too so let's take this one because it has like a bam two bams and we'll put it up here yay because like yay it's monday let's rock you know let's rock it's monday Today is my first full day back at work in a while. Like, I haven't really worked that much this month, and apologies, you know, I apologize for not being around. I know you guys are so nice. You don't care that much. I mean, you care, but you don't. You know what I mean? Um, mostly, I apologize to my patrons, and I thank my patient, my patients. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I thank my Patreon members for being so patient this month because they've had to kind of, you know, put up with me being more quiet than usual. And sometimes that might happen a little bit, but oh, I don't like those are the same colors on these are. Mary Ellen. It's okay though. Let's put the weekend up here. Not the weekend like the rock star, but the weekend with an E in it, okay? Um, yeah. So my patrons rock. They stick with me even when, you know, things are hard and life happens and I try my best to be there, but it's difficult. Just like I try my best to do YouTube videos, but it's difficult um, to, to keep up with it when things are like they've been. But we're ramping back up, you guys. We are going in with a blast with this spread, you know? Like, this spread feels like right for me to move back into working full-time because it's obviously like, bam, let's go. Let's get it done. Come on, you know? Let's do this. is like a big bam. We're going to do it right. I don't want to take up too much of the days, but come on. I need to put it here because there's yellow on that side. We'll just... Uh, there's two there. Wait. All right. We'll just put it right here. Happy medium. I know there's a line through it. It's okay. I don't care much. All right. Let's keep going. We could put silver there too. I mean, there's silver around here, but I don't know yet. I don't know. That's a little crazy as if this spread is not crazy, right? I think those are the only things I'm going to do. I'm going to use for around. Oh, maybe I'll put some of these though. Little icons around too. Yeah. Like, why not a roller skate? That makes sense to me. Um, a green one, because we have no green, really. A little bit. Let's put it with the BAM. BAM, we're skating. 
and the Rubik's Cube over here. Boop. Okay, ring pops. We've got lots of stuff here. I like these two, but I feel like they don't go around the edges. I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. But the computer does. That feels right. This old school computer with the mouse. Wait, we need blue on this side. Hold up. I hope that my camera doesn't go out of frame or get wacky. If it does, I'm sorry. But I tried to adjust the mount and it has like a metal twisty thing. You know, that. <laughs> Whatever that's called that you turn to adjust it. And I can't do it. I just can't pull it. It is not going anywhere. So I need somebody stronger than me to be here to do it for me. So it might move and then we'll just adjust because you know, we're gonna stay rad. We got this. We're enjoying life. All right, be cool, Mary Ellen. I'm not gonna edit this one. This is full on raw Mary Ellen without editing because I don't have time today to do it. So. I mean, you get what you get, as I always say. Like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. That's how it goes. I sort of want to put this here, but that feels like too much. But let's do it. We're enjoying our life. We're enjoying ourselves. Right. Okay. Let's put a few more around. Then we're going to go for the boxes. we got to do the boxes. Ooh, we can even put one of these here, like today, you know, in case we do a list or something. That's going to sort of bring it around and have all of the quotes there. I don't know. That just makes sense to have it there. We could also do these, but I'm thinking I'm going to stick maybe more simply. Let's do another lightning bolt. I don't know. Let's put one on the side this. Shazam! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, unfiltered Mary Ellen. We need BAMs on this side. We gotta do it. Ooh, we could put another one with this. Yeah, pink and green. Cool. Okay. Um, We need more of these guys, you know? Oh, these little ones. They look like macaroni, you know? A little macaroni action. Macaroni, no cheese. All right, um, let's put one. I don't know. Oh, here, it's just gonna go there. I don't know. I have no reasoning. That's a little weird. Let's do it. Let's do another lightning bolt. Necessary on this side, we gotta do it. Now there's yellow here. Maybe I should do red, I don't know. Or blue, blue makes more sense. Let's do that. Wait, I gotta check and see if you're still in frame. You are. It might be a little like wonky as far as the angle. I don't think it's too bad. Okay, I just have to check because, you know, I don't, I don't want to, to be disappointing. <laughs> My goal is to not be disappointing. You know what I mean? Let's do one of these. I feel like the blue should have been here. Let's move it. Can we move it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, it is not looking good, folks, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Oh, okay. Now I took you know who for a, oh no, she heard me. Do you think she heard me say you know who? <laughs> she came running over. Um, I took her for you know what, you know, right before. I felt, well, not right before, but maybe because I had to gather the, the Patreon pictures, the patron pictures from Instagram, you know, but I took her on a, you know what, about 45 minutes before I started filming and a long one, right? Still, she is working her way over. She's working her way. So we're going to get a treat here soon, I think. I think, but maybe I'll get to film this one video without that happening. Please, I know you wanna hear from her, but I certainly do not. I don't. 
I think this side needs a big bam, like a giant bam, like that one. Um, we're going around the edges mainly, so we might pop one in the middle somewhere in a minute, but I want to make sure there's room for boxes and lines, you know? So I think this one, like, I don't know. Uh, all right, let's just put it here. I know there's blue down there, but that's okay. All right, it's looking good. Now let's take a break from all of this and work on boxes and lines. I could just leave it like this. It actually looks kind of cool like this, but I never leave it. So let's see what boxes we have in here. I really like these, you know, but I'm not gonna be using those today, I don't think. So we have some of these boxes. I may try to also bring in like regular boxes. Actually, these ones are pretty good too. I just don't want too much. Although it is a 90s spread, I don't know. Is it ever going to be too much? Maybe not. Maybe not. I like these boxes that are like long ways. I could use this for gratitude. Find your bliss. Yeah. Okay, she's in her BED next to my desk, so we might be all right for now. Yeah, we're just going to do a gratitude list with this. It's going to be big. I don't care. I don't care. I think it's going to be good. Let's do it right here. Who knows how it's going to look, but I think it's going to be great. We're just going to write in our gratitude here, or my gratitude, I should say. All the things that are making me happy this week. All right. Maybe we put this one on the other side because, like, I kind of want to match it. You got this. That's my reminder because it's been difficult lately. So I want to know that I've got this. Okay. That looks pretty freaking cool. Now, maybe a couple more of these little boxes and then add in some black boxes or something. I don't need a ton of boxes, but I need enough, you know? This pink isn't the right pink. It's not, oh, there's one. I was gonna say it's not really anywhere else, but it kind of is. Let's be wacky and put them all over, you know? Oh, let's put this one here. I like I like the pink and green together. Yeah. And now we're going to do, I think, this guy, you know? But not up here. Maybe... Do you hear her sigh? <laughs> She's like, oh my God, here she goes again talking to herself. So lately, I've been trying to leave the apartment, and you know who is crying, howling when I leave. And I'm wondering if it's because the cats aren't here yet, and she's never by herself. Like, even when she's by herself, the cats are here. So I'm getting them soon, um, this week. And I think that will make a difference. I really am hoping, because I cannot have her crying when I'm not here, so I haven't been leaving and that's not good either, because I need to actually leave the house once in a while. I need to go to the store and get groceries, but I can't because I'm afraid she's going to disturb the neighbors. And also, it's not really that. I just feel sorry for her, you know. I, it makes me sad. Ooh, let's add in these two. This one and this one. I may not even need to bring in bo black boxes. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, it's been a little difficult, a lot difficult with that. So if you have any tips, let me know, but I'm thinking we'll just have to wait and see what happens, you know? Obviously, I'm going to leave her here. Like, I can't never leave, you know? That's stupid. I have to go places. I know that's a little crooked, leaving it. But, um, still, I just, I, I feel so sorry for her because I don't think she knows which way is up, you know? She's like a little, I think she's a little stressed out lately. And I keep telling everyone that and I'm like, oh no, like, and, and people are like, Mary Ellen, she's a dog. She's a dog. Let's keep it in perspective. And I, I know, but she's also my daughter. <laughs> She's my child, so you know what I mean? So I don't know. 
I just worry about her. And also, I don't want to be that neighbor, you know? She does have a bark collar now, but it's not like one that shocks her. It is one, I, I don't want to do that. So it's one that's a vibration one. And she's starting to just kind of take the vibration if she thinks it's worth it, you know what I mean? So I don't know about like, yeah, I'm not sure if that will stop her from barking when I'm leaving or howling like the other day. We'll see. All right, I'm just adding some lines around. This is turning out so cute. Oh, I just ran into that sticker. I hate that. Because now it's gonna smear. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. What else does it need? I feel like it needs, no, I have lines here. I was gonna say there, but no. Maybe it needs something. And it doesn't need much more, but maybe like in this area, it's a little blank. So let's see what else we can do. I'm not gonna bring in black boxes. I think this is good. I could bring in another box, but I don't really need to. Or, or maybe like a small box, maybe one of these would work. How about, hmm, what color? The pink? blue I don't know nothing's going to be balanced because there's so many colors here we're not going to be able to balance everything but probably needs a green but I don't have a green box in that size so we have to improvise here yellow maybe mm. maybe this one I've been keeping all of them within the box, so I'm gonna keep doing that and just put it right underneath. And then maybe we do like a couple of little stickers. Like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Ooh, what if we put these in the sidebar? That would be fun because we're gonna have a super busy week. We actually are. I mean, I <laughs> I have a couple doctor appointments and um, other stuffs. Trying to get back to work and like trying to really, I'm just going to be busy this week getting back to work full time because I'm trying to play catch up with some sponsored stuff and Patreon stuff, all that. Wild and free though. Why does that keep sticking? What is sticking up? I don't know. Um, and then maybe like another one down there. I don't know. Trust your gut. These are hard to pick up off the page, these stars, because or bams, <laughs> because um, you don't want to like rip them. It's a little difficult. Yeah, bam. Woo. Okay, just a couple little um, thingamabobs here. Little illustrations, like a ring pop. Ring pop. I don't really like them, but yeah. Let's put the one right there. And what else? A little boom box. right above the today the boom box looks like it has a face do you see what I'm talking about yeah and a little old school cell phone I don't know I think that's enough you guys I think it's good so we need to give it a name what are we gonna call it um I wish I remember like 90s slang oh my gosh I gotta pause I gotta pause and look up 90 slang because I take it too far. Okay. <laughs> Let's call this one Booyah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Booyah. <laughs> 
Um, so let me know what you think of this spread. I think it's really cute. And um, thanks to Kristen Creates for the inspiration. I am going to put her spread here so you can see what it looked like and remember that one. And um, let's see, wait. I have to move this over maybe so I can fit hers in. <laughs> I don't know if I'm still gonna be able to fit hers in. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one and I hope you have a super busy week. Now, do I? I don't know. All I know is you got this, okay? Ugh. Goodbye.